Hello! Oh, welcome back to uh, this weekend's reading vlog. I got a couple, well, more than a couple. I have so many I want to read right now, like, this uh, stack is ridiculous, but it's okay. I think. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, welcome to the family, and we're just gonna go ahead and try and jump into this weekend reading vlog that I want to try to get to into. I know I have to work both Saturday and Sunday until 5, but on my way there I can listen to some of these. Not all of them, but half of them I can listen to on my way there, on my way back, while I'm waiting, that little fun thing. And I'm so excited because I got new wireless headphones that I've been meaning to get for like ever ago since my other one broke. Oops, it was devastated. But anyway, we got new headphones, so definitely listen to it and since it's colder outside this will definitely help keep me extracted from the cold some light <laughs> it's just a little small technique that I found a while ago back and I'm glad I did because just waiting there and just like saying oh it's cold it's cold it's cold listen to an audiobook you can still say it's cold but hopefully you'll get lost until like track gets there so there's that fun little tip for all you people like me out there in winter Right now, music or listening to an audiobook while you're waiting in the cold kind of helps. At least it does me, but we're going to move on from that. Alright, like I said, this is kind of what I want to like get into over the weekend, or at least try to start more into the weekend and get finished. Maybe, maybe not. We'll just see how it goes. Alright. If you haven't already know, I've been talking about this book for a while, but that is The House of Salt and Sorrows, which is my group book read for. I'm gonna get on Twitter because we do have a Twitter Twitter account. Blech. Words, people, words. And it is for our Spook Squad Book Club, which is over on Twitter. Or you can just Look up the hashtag at Spook Squad Books, and you can find us that way. We choose to read like a spooky kind of book vibe. It doesn't have to be Halloween where you can read all of your favorite spooky books then. You can read it all year long, so that's why we have that Twitter account, and it's fun. And there's a group of us where we decide to pick out what book we want to read for the month, and then we do a poll. So for January, we are currently in the middle of House of Salt and Sorrows, and I've been wanting to read this one for a little while. And with this one, it definitely has me on the edge of my seat a little bit. And it's just like, I want to know who did the sister wrong, if she was pushed, if she wasn't pushed, like... Your girl really wants to know, so I divided up the rest of this to try to get me there to figure out who went and hurt Annalise's sister, or if she was hurt, or if that's just what she thinks that what, that happened that didn't really happen. We don't know yet, but we're gonna find out eventually, so yay! Alright, and then I am doing a buddy read with... I'm not sure exactly how to say her name, but I will try to leave it down in the description down below. But me and her are definitely going to be reading A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy, starting this book tomorrow. And as you can see, I also kind of tapped it up with little cards here. Let me get it out. With these little things, I don't know if dividing them dividing up my two books will help me try to get more reading in or like try to get up to where I want to be in the books. Never tried something like that before so we're going to try it with this one and also with House of Salt and Sorrows so I can finish it. 
So if the little flashcard thingies work for dividing the books, I will try to do that because we're going to try to read the first 11 chapters into this and then from there we're going to read up to 5 chapters a day. Excuse me, so I decided to go ahead and divide that up so it's a little easier and know where I will pick up after I leave off. So hopefully that helps. So, And I'm excited to get into this because I saw this over on Twitter like around last year sometime and I was like, oh, this book looks really good and hopefully I am right. I will know by tomorrow after I finish reading 11 chapters, so wish me luck. Alright, and then from the library, I checked out Seven Blades and Black by Sam Skies. It's the first book in the series, and it's a science fiction book, and it's got to deal with magic. And there's little blurbs from Pierce Brown, Robin Hobb, Peter V. Brett. I don't know who those two necessarily are, but I know about Pierce Brown. I like his books. and. Then, if he's saying it's good and if Pierre Ford over on Twitter is tweeting about Seven Blades in Black and she's saying it's good to go and pick it up, I'm checking it out from my library first. So once I get into it and read more and if I like it, I might go out and buy it myself. But the first chapter, or the first chapter, the first page of the book that I did read, I really like it. And there's a map inside it that's also kind of funny because it says on here where the trouble starts can't go back here and here there's an X off of this one uh, there's a home thing that says not important but great whiskey uh, last light used to be nice like that I find hilarious in a book especially if it's in a map like that we like it and basically what it's about her magic was stolen and she was left for dead betrayed by those she trusts most and her magic ripped from her sal the canopy has nothing left but her name her story and the weapon she used to carve used to carve both but she will but meh, she has a will stronger than magic and knows exactly where to go the Scar is a land torn between powerful empires and rogue massages go to disappear. Disgraced soldiers go to die and Sal goes with a blade, a gun, and a list of seven names. This sounds exciting and like I said it's a science fiction book and I'm trying to get into more science fiction stuff this year so I'm definitely going to be getting this after I get more into it. Maybe get it next weekend, we'll see, but I'm intrigued by it. And of course, the other science fiction book that I'm also currently working on is still Children of Time. I left off on page 51, haven't gotten much farther into it, but I plan to. But I'm also into all these other great books behind me, and I, I'm obsessed. And like I've been saying, I wouldn't read this at night before going to- well, you could read it at night, but just don't read it like- before you're laying down to go to bed because you don't like spiders and you're reading the spider scene. May or may not end up having a spider in your dream. At least it wasn't a huge one like, you know, like the ones in Harry Potter, like, <laughs> no. You can stay there. Don't want you in real life, like, you can stay. But over and all, children in time, minus the spiders and the death of the monkeys that they keep talking about, those poor monkeys. But it's like set in space and it also kind of reminds me a little bit of passengers because they wake up in this little port pot thing. I don't know exactly what you want to call it, but it's like where it freezes your body and then like you wake up like 20 years or later into the future and trying to figure out what went down while you were asleep and what the war was like, you know, kind of things like that. So that's what has me intrigued about Children of Time. And then I can't wait to get to Children of Ruin, which my library also has, and I was excited when I saw it, so I was like, yes, but one or five books at a time, we're going to try. 
And I want to listen more into The Diviners by Libba Gray, because I'm really obsessed with this book and I love it. Renegades, I need to read more into Kala's world again, because I miss Kala. She's like, ah, werewolf alpha, Kala, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> and then I need to read more into John for I Am Number 4 because I love the movie, I love the main character who played John, and then later on I found out they were books and I was like, um, I don't need me every single one of that book. So I have them all, but I think a, a few new ones that came out recently that I'll get eventually, but focusing is on I am number four to see if I like the series which so far I'm loving the first book so we'll go from there and then I still need to read more of the broken things by Lauren Oliver I have not gotten that far into it I really need to have I no I left off on like page 13 because I've been focusing more on the other books that I showed you, so there's that, and I still need to finish reading Wicked Saints because it was also really good as well, so. My focus for this weekend, hopefully if we can, maybe get more reading into Renegades, The Diviners, I Am Number 4, Oh my goodness. I'm trying to throw the books here. It ain't working. I get more of Nightshade Red. Because we love Nightshade on this channel. And no one hardly ever talks about Nightshade. Because it's an older book series. But come on. And then Children of Time. A River of Royal and Blood. House of Salt and Sorrows, and maybe try to start Seven Blades in Black if I don't start it like tomorrow or Saturday, maybe start it Sunday afternoon when I get home from work and maybe get like 50 pages into it or maybe up to 100, see how well we like it and if I, like I said, if I really like it next weekend, we're going book shopping as long as the weather is nice. By nice, I mean not snowing. It could be cold, but snowing. I'm over the snow already, and it's supposed to snow again tomorrow, so. Ugh. I've got reading plans if I can't go out tomorrow, so. We love that on this channel. Alright, you guys. Oh, <laughs> I will see you in tomorrow's vlog, if I remember to vlog. And let you know where I'm at more into these books if I get into more. I am definitely going to try to read more into House of Salt and Sorrows and I think maybe a little bit more into Children of Time and Renegades and Diviners because Diviners I think it's due back soon. I think I renewed it on my Olivia account. can't remember for sure because it's been a little bit but you know small baby steps at a time and I need to edit my top 10 favorite books that I did last weekend and get that uploaded because that video was fun and it wouldn't hurt to charge this battery as well so it's good for the weekend so uh, there's those goals in mind and it is only Thursday so we're doing good doing good love that for me all right, let's see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Oh, welcome to Friday. It is definitely a snow day. I'll try to include some fun little pictures I took of because we got a little bit since the last time it snowed, so, you know. There's that fun thing, and happy to say I finally finished I Am Number 4. Oh, it's so bittersweet. I love it. As much as I love the movie, which I do own, and um, 
probably gonna be watching that this weekend because yes, yes, and yes! <laughs> oh, this is a fun science fiction kind of world and like the aliens walk among us, but they don't necessarily look like aliens. They look more like us in their human form with this incredible special power that each individual each individual can do like one can be invisible and they can have like multiple different kind of powers as well like like four he can can create headlights from the palm of his hands and he will also know like when another people like him die you'll get like a big scar on the side of his leg and it will glow and he knows that's when they should be on the move so no one else can find number four and try to basically kill him because there are bad aliens in this world as well as the good ones the good ones fight the bad ones so it's action-packed adventure aliens walk among us and the alien falls in love with the human and it, it's just it's, it's everything like uh i can't wait to get to the next book which is the power of six and i have the whole series and i've been meaning to read it for years when i say years i've had this book since like 2011 and i'm now getting around to it oops but at least I read it and I really love it. Why do I wait so long to read such good and amazing books? We will never know. Okay, moving on from I am number four. I don't want to, if you can tell, but no, we got to. I started a, a little bit into my buddy read of A River of Royal and Blood. And Suri thinks I'm talking to her every single time I try to do a book talk. <sighs> this time I was able to control it. Anyway, I divided up my sections for the chapters we're supposed to read to. So far, I'm still on chapter one. Whoops. But I need to get up to 11 today, so then by tomorrow, I can read more from chapter 12, which would be up to chapter 18. I need to get my part read, and the person that I'm buddy reading this with over on Twitter she said she read the all 11 chapters and she's really into it, so that just means I need to get a move on it. And I'm doing nothing else but recording. <laughs> and I did finish another book, so I feel pretty proud about that. So, yes. And haven't gotten too much farther with House of Salt and Sorrows, but again, I also divided this one up into sections as well, so maybe see if it will help me get through it a little easier. We'll, we'll try. Then after I'm done with A River of Royal Blood, I think I'll probably do the same thing like that with Children of Time because I'm still on page 51. I need to get past 51, but I'm loving all the books that I'm currently in the middle of. It's just, it takes me a little bit, but there's definitely that. And I can listen to Renegades tomorrow while I'm waiting for the bus, while I'm on the bus, on my way to work, then I repeat that same situation over again on my way home, and I can probably listen to it on break since I'll be bringing my headphones, and um, I can listen to it for 15 minutes, and uh, <laughs> yes, we love that. Since sometimes I like to have my phone on me and like not physically read anything if I do take a book with me. Anyway. <laughs> That is all my plans I have for tonight. Just some reading, maybe watching a movie, staying warm, which I definitely am, because you, you know, you get moving around a lot, and it's super cold outside, so I'll stay where it's nice and toasty. Yes. Anyway, I will probably catch you guys tomorrow night after I'm home from work and have a chill relaxation and get my reading situated in. All right, <laughs> that's all I have for today's vlog. See you guys tomorrow.